What's good everybody, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you how we managed to heat this above ground pool, not with a solar heater, not with a propane, just a very rudimentary under the sink little electric heat pump that was pretty inexpensive in comparison to what we're actually getting. So stay tuned for the whole video so you can also have a nice warm above ground pool without breaking a bank. What is up everybody? So if you have a swimming pool, like an outdoor pool, regardless of whether it is a, uh, you know, one of those 15 footers or whatever, as long as it's not a giant 20, 25 by 25, this will work. So today we're going to be showing you how I managed to get a nice warm heated pool for like under 300 bucks, basically. Under here is my little heater pump. So this is technically used for under cabinets in your kitchen maybe in the basement maybe in a laundry room where you don't have a lot of hot water accessible quickly because maybe the pipes are too far away from the main source or whatnot anyway so what i did is i kind of retrofitted this to work with this pool and it's actually quite easy to do and anybody can do it so i'm thinking it's going to cost maybe 30 dollars per month to use this it's constantly going along with this pump this is the original pump from this best weight pool i'm gonna leave a link in the description so you guys know the pool itself i picked up on facebook it was really cheap but you can pick them up on amazon for maybe double the price so the way this pool operates it's got two b's most pools are like this and this is where the water is being sucked in into the pump this is the pump and then from here it filters and cleans the water and then it goes back into the pool through that a spot right that's where all the water is coming in so what we did is we intercepted this one and instead of going into the pool we went and we went into the cold water inlet on here and then from here when you touch it you can feel that it's a little warmer and then what we did is we picked up this from uh home depot you can also buy this on amazon as well and this is just another thick hose and then we got an adapter to screw in here and then we added a clamp just as we did here so this is a three quarter inch adapter that we inserted into this plastic hose and that plastic hose and then we just screw it in on top of the tank i believe there are three quarter connectors from the garden hose you do need to retrofit it with like uh, an adapter which is what we did here this is like only a dollar fifty i think at home depot clamp was another buck so yeah this is a valve to release hot water if it gets too too hot but this will never get too hot this goes all the way up to 125 Fahrenheit, which is about 50 Celsius, but we're never gonna achieve that because the pump is constantly going. So the water inside here never has enough time to actually reach that temperature. We still do, of course, maximize this, but instead of getting that 50 Celsius, which we would if we turned off, if there's a valve in here where we could turn it off, which we could interject, right? Then this would have enough time to heat up and then we would release the valve and then we would get really, really warm water. So that's one way to do it. And the other way is to constantly have the water recycling. And because this is about a 2100 gallon pool, of course, this little 10 liter or seven gallon electric heat pump is not going to heat anything up. But what I'm here to tell you is that this works. This is how to get your above ground pool to be swimmable in more than very, very hot weather. We also don't have the privilege of having the sun because we put up this canopy cover. So we don't actually get all that sun as if we would to have it there. I just don't want to mess up our lawn. This is a 10 by 10 by 30 inches. Uh, that pump will work, I would say up to about 15 by 15. Those do come in larger versions as well you can also get a proper heat pump propane or whatever that is electric and i just wanted to go electric because electric is actually much much cheaper than using propane or any other sort of source right so or natural gas but anyways that's the video i'm gonna leave links in the description i hope this has been informative again very easy way to heat up your pool in off season thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one